How's it going, guys, guys, and pals? I'm Alice Wonder Woman and your favorite cute trans girl, and as you may or may not know, I am, in fact, a complete nerd. Nerd! It's true. And I also happen to be in dire need of a PC upgrade. You may have noticed in some of my other recent videos, for example, my Discord reacts, or my Reddit femboy react, that the screen recordings have been ridiculously laggy. And that's because my current computer is... Well, it's pretty much 10 years old, and it's ready to go out the door. So today, we're gonna be making the most trans PC ever. It will be glorious. We're gonna upgrade my rig and have a little bit of fun while doing it. I'm ready to go. I'm all hyped up. I got my sleeveless shirt on. I've got my standard issue programming socks on. And I've even got an energy drink at the ready. This is from my stockpile of the old V. You can check out what I think of energy drinks in this video here. So there's a couple twists to this. First off, how are we gonna make this super trans? How am I going to represent the trans community in my use of computer hardware? Don't you worry, we'll get to that in a minute. The other twist is that I can't afford this. To put it quite simply, at the time of recording this, I'm about four weeks away from surgery, which is gonna put me about $10,000 in debt, so I really don't have any money to spare. That's where I've really gotta thank you guys. When a few people in the community heard that I was really struggling with my current setup, they reached out to me and they let me know that they had a few PC parts they wouldn't mind handing off to me. And well, <laughs> because of that, I've basically been able to put together an entirely new PC upgrade with your help. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot something. Why don't we get started? So I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to computers. I've been following them for a long time and I just find it really interesting tinkering and playing around with technical stuff. So I'm not gonna make this any sort of tutorial on how to build a PC, but you can definitely follow along and see how it's done. I've built a few computers in my time. This is the first time I've ever really made one with relatively modern hardware. Speaking of hardware, let's see what we've got to work with. I would like to say a huge thank you to Izzy who supplied me with this Gigabyte B350 motherboard, as well as a Ryzen 5 1600X, which is going to be a huge upgrade to what I'm currently running. And she also had a CPU cooler for me. Thank you to Avery, who was able to send me some really fancy DDR4 memory, 16 gigs. We get to put that in like that. And a massive thank you also to Third in Line, who sent me this absolute behemoth of a thing. This is a Zotac NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, which, to put it bluntly, is quite literally three times faster than what I'm currently using. <laughs> so that's gonna be awesome. Finally gonna be able to play Minecraft with shaders. The rest of the components I bought as a business expense, which means I can take them off of my taxes. This gigabyte 750 watt modular power supply, a one terabyte SSD, and in order to make this build particularly funky, I made use of my connections across the industry to get some special vinyl printed with which to wrap our case. Speaking of case, I'm gonna be using the Cooler Master Masterbox K501L. Pretty much because it was cheap. Look at this f***ing marketing boot. Check this out. Gaming is the core of the Masterbox K501L RGB. Donning an illuminated fan against the angled front panel ventilation speaks to its competitive character. Who f***ing wrote this? Who thought that anyone alive is gonna read this on the side of their case box and not f***ing laugh at it? It's so over the top. Support of gaming hardware like long graphics cards. Plenty of storage and liquid cooling take priority in the K501L RGB while still leaving room for future upgrades. Compatibility for high performance hardware makes the K501L RGB the essential start in building a monster rig. Competitively priced to point the focus towards upgrades. It's a f***ing case, man. It's a f***ing box made of aluminium. <laughs> it's just so over the top. But anyway, now that we've got all the components in the motherboard, I'm gonna give them a bit of a test off screen, make sure everything works okay. And while I'm doing that, it's time to wrap the case. Now I will admit, I've never wrapped anything before, so this is a first time thing for me. And I'm actually pretty happy with how it's come out. Of course, immediately when I did the side panel, there was a, there was a hair stuck underneath it, so, <laughs> so you had to peel that back, use a pair of tweezers to get the hair off, and then, the problem with having long hair, honestly. But it looks good now. The front panel was a lot harder to wrap. I didn't quite get it perfect. There are a few crinkles on the front, but I think it looks pretty good and you're gonna see that later. I 
All right, now we've got the components tested, can confirm that they're all working. It's time to put this whole thing together. So, for me, the first thing I do when building a computer is I put the power supply in the case and I pre-route all of my cables. Because cable management is an absolute nightmare and you gotta make sure that you've got your wires uncrossed. All in the right place so that you don't have to worry about squeezing them into place later. So that's what I do first. Following that, you put the I.O. plate on. Don't f***ing forget that. Make sure you've got all your standoffs installed in the case. They stop the motherboard from shorting out on the aluminium. And then carefully put in your motherboard screws. Remember, golden rule of all technology. You want to tighten the screws diagonally. Don't put in all the screws at the bottom. You go top left, bottom right. That way you make sure you're evenly distributing the load and you're not bending the motherboard. Then we make sure we've got all the fans and the front I.O. all plugged in, all looking good. And then it's time to put in our monster graphics card. It is humongous. <laughs> it f***ing barely fits in the case, but we got it. Make sure that's all screwed in nicely. And because I'm going with a one terabyte SSD, that means I don't have any hard drives, I don't have any SATA SSDs. I don't have anything outside of the motherboard to really wire up. So that's pretty much us done. We can just chuck the panels on now and get Windows installed. While we're doing that, I thought it might be interesting to give you a bit of a setup tour. As you can probably see, and as you've seen in a couple videos by now, I'm sure, I've got a new setup. I've moved rooms and I've now got all of my stuff and all of my recording set up in a new place. So I thought I'd introduce you to the new space and show off my cool stuff. Here we are. This is my new room. What dost thou think? Let me know in the comments. So here's my weird painting. You know, it's gotta be there. There's my lamp. There's my laptop. There's my lovely babies. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a video yet, but I'm kind of trying to do a weird thing where everyone that donates to my Buy Me Coffee for a cumulative $500 or more gets a special new character in their name added to the channel. So, here are the three we have so far. Bob, Kaylee, and Cass. It's just an extra way for me to say thank you. So if you want a special character of your own, well, that's how you do it. Don't know how long I'll be able to keep that up because <laughs> I've got I've got almost 5,000 subs and I've already got three of them. I may well just end up with like 9 million extra characters. Of course is my V. It's empty. But yes, this is my recording setup. This is the tripod. Normally I'd have my gimbal up on here, but currently my phone is mounted on the gimbal so you can't see it. Generally I like, I like the lighting when I'm in here and I'm looking that way. I think it looks good. The lighting is perhaps not as good as my old room, but I'm making do. Here's my microphone. There's my old PC, which is gonna be obviously gone in a second. Oh yeah, also, surprise. I'm hiding the Nerf guns under my bed now. And this is my current PC setup. Got my ring light, obviously, which, can, which doubles as a camera mount. Got my speed limit sign. Got my cheetah wallpaper. This as well. This is a new monitor I bought for the new setup. It's a 1440p monitor. That's very new to me. I only put that up last weekend. This is my keyboard. It's a Steel Series K80 RGB or something like that. Huge thank you to Holy Cow 360 who helped me get that. And um, this is my wardrobe. It's also where I store my stockpile of V. I'm like a doomsday prepper. Except I stockpile V for when the apocalypse of V comes and I can't find the old V back on the shelves anymore. But anyway, that's pretty much my new room. Now you've seen it, now you know it, now you know everywhere in here. And I... Oh, I've just heard. I think actually... I think PC Building Alice has just finished putting together the computer. Why don't we take a look at the finished product? This is my old computer. What it is, is an HP Z220 workstation that I got for free and I chucked a Gigabyte RX 570 in there. As you can see, it needs a bit of a clean. Now it's time to unplug it and replace it with the new unit. You've been good to me for the last six years. Goodbye forever. Programmer socks. 
is a light. The ram's lit up. <laughs> Moment of truth. That wasn't good. <laughs> okay, as per usual, when I do anything with computers, um, I've just spent the last two hours troubleshooting because for some reason, nothing worked. I've tried two graphics cards, two motherboards, a bunch of other stuff, and I just about gave up. And then I just thought, oh, f it, I'll just plug everything back in and then put the PC away and deal with it some other time. Plugged everything back in, hit the power button one last time because what the hell, and suddenly now it's working. <laughs> Why? Why is it so difficult? Why couldn't it just do this on the first boot? I have changed nothing. I, I swapped around two motherboards and two graphics cards and I've ended up back at this exactly the same setup as I had it when I first brought it into my room. But anyway, <laughs> everything is now working and I've just got to install Windows and then we're good. All right, as you can see, I've had a bit of a costume change. That's not because, that's not because it's been a week. It's because... Reasons. We had a couple issues, as you do when you do anything with computers, really. But she's now up and running. I'm so stoked with how it turned out. Everything is now fully operational. We're all good. It's all badass. And it is a huge upgrade from what I had before. I'm also really happy with how it looks. Take a look at this. In my first ever decal install. I've never done anything with a decal before. I've never done a wrap. And it came out so well. Oh, it looks so good. It lo I'm, I'm so happy with how it looks under my desk. It's amazing. Of course, it's my first decal and particularly that front panel is really angular and difficult. So there are a couple spots that are a little bit shabby, but you can't really see them unless you're looking really close and shining a torch. So I'm gonna call it good enough. <laughs> I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments if you'd like a PC like this. Me personally, I think it looks really awesome. I'm so happy with how it came out and I'm so happy that it's up and running. I've now got a new computer that can actually keep up with the tasks that I need to use it for. But most importantly, Finally, I can play Minecraft with shaders installed. Check this out! <laughs> it's working. I've got a high definition texture pack and I've got shaders on very high and I'm getting between 100 and 150 FPS. <laughs> I've never been able to play Minecraft shaders before. Oh cow. I'm actually so stoked. Anyway, there's a few reasons I needed to upgrade my computer. Again, thank you so, so much to Third In Line, Avery, and Izzy for supplying me with these parts so that I could make this happen. You real troopers. I can't say how much this helps me. So the reasons I needed to upgrade my computer. You may have noticed in a few of my other videos that uh, the screen recording was really laggy. Uh, my old computer just really wasn't keeping up with screen recording or anything I really needed to use it for. And I couldn't really keep up with modern games either. Like, I, I don't really play games that much these days because I spend so much of my time editing. But if I wanted to, I would have had trouble. You know, five years ago, it was pretty damn good, but it's seen its use now. But there is one other thing that I really wanted a new computer for that I think you may be kind of excited about. I've been really thinking about having a go at streaming. I don't know, it just seems like fun to me. It seems like really great interaction and just met a really fun event, I think, for the channel and for the community. I'm considering maybe once I get back from surgery, doing like a monthly stream or something like that. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I've not made any decisions yet, but leave comments below if you wanna see me stream, if you think that'd be fun. Cause I think it'd be great fun. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything for now. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. You can even ding the bell if you're feeling extra cool, 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 cool. If you want to support my channel and help me pay for surgery, my Buy Me A Coffee link is in the description. And well, now you've seen my setup. I don't think there's much more to cover. See you in the next video.